spin like a posh British dude, I will try. human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are. Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corridors have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. 
If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Tell me what you know about Vargas. <coughs> he is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. <coughs> what sort of offer did they make you? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on a thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, I'm sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, pay vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort, then? And the equator. Bounce packing, diving, an accredited asset you're afield? If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. Synthetic insights? The manager, Laura Keene. He got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by Hanshin's administrator. Now, I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadrill Gan Swa Fosum Karatin Nar Iedi Bellan Elias. No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into the Pamuk. I think the administrator is using this keen fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. This scenario doesn't... Give my pack. 
package to the administrator. So, you gonna do something about it? I'm not stupid. I have nothing to gain by attacking you at this point. Opold and I, though, we're going to have a long talk. you be? Lorik Keen. <laughs> For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. What would you do if you got the evidence? All I want is the leverage to stop paying bribes. Businesses that want to stay in business avoid controversy. How did you get this evidence? 
I arranged for certain devices to find their way into his office. Purely for my own interest, Synthetic Insights would never tolerate such action. They recorded many undocumented credit transfers. The data was transferred to my office. A sad tale. Best of luck with that. I appreciate you listening. I have nothing else to do but sample drinks. I've been thinking over your difficulties with Analeas. Indeed. Is there anything I can do? I would never decline charity. However, there is one issue I should mention. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. <laughs> He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Armed commandos were allowed on Ovarian? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Venezia, <coughs> is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. You know why Venezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. <laughs> I should let you go. Let me go? Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk.
us regret letting you keep those guns. We've got a secret weapon. Sergeant Sterling's a biotic, and not a real friendly one either. You better toe the line with the administrator. If you don't, <coughs> you might end up like Laura Keen. There are people all over this plaza you can chat with. I'm on duty. Novaria's private property. Remember, you're here at the board's sufferance. Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. Security. This office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. I don't have time for this. Get the hell out of here or I'll start shooting. You want to cause trouble?
surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. You're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Of course I'm supposed to, you twat. Do you plan on making me leave? <laughs> leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You talk the talk. Let's see if you can walk.
here hire their own private security forces. It makes it easier for them to break the laws that way. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. The weather outside looks dreadful. Thank the goddess it's warm in here. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. I don't have time for pleasantries. Act natural. You want to blow my cover? You're meeting a beautiful woman for drinks. Smile and laugh. Pretend we're flirting. The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. 
Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. I thought corruption was the rule on Novarian. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I'd like to help you, Miss Parasini, but I need Keen's garage pass. It's vital to my mission. Yes, yes. Fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all-clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. And if the crew never sends an all-clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. <laughs> Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? <clears throat> I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? 
You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer.